There's a crisis in learning outcomes in developing countries. Six out of ten children leave middle school with insufficient maths or reading proficiency. In sub-Saharan Africa, nearly 90% of children leave middle school unable to read properly or do simple maths calculations. So we desperately need to find different interventions, different ways that will be effective in improving learning. Now, children spend more time out of school than they do in school, so it, may, it would seem to make sense, let's look for ways to use the household, the family or the community to improve learning outcomes. And many different approaches have been tried to do that. What's the evidence for their effectiveness? A recent camp review looked at this issue and found that for a wide range of these different interventions, there's actually no evidence of their effectiveness. But where there is evidence, it's mostly not very good. Most of these programmes have no or at best very weak effects on children's learning. The main exception appears to be television, with particularly Sesame Street type programmes or programmes based on that format that are effective, but the reach of such television programmes in poor communities is of course quite limited. This is not to say there isn't a role for the family or the community. We know that in the preschool period, parenting interventions for early child development are proven to be effective. We know that we want to get children to go to school, to build demand amongst parents to send their children to schooling and not to, say, have them work, then demand or interventions working with families and communities are important. But if the role is to improve learning outcomes, then it seems it's better to focus on schools. There's a separate review published by the World Bank looking just at South Asian countries that shows exactly the same things. The interventions that were focused on households, on communities, had no effect whatsoever. In fact, none of the included studies for household community-based interventions had any effect, whereas those for teachers and schools did show an impact on learning outcomes. So the evidence is very clear. If our goal is to improve learning outcomes, as it has to be, we have to shift resources away from interventions to improve learning through the community or family-based interventions towards investing more of those resources in schools and in teachers.